Welcome to the Hyper Japan Festival 2019 recap. Another weekend full of electric performances, mouth-watering food, and eye-popping cosplay has gone just as fast as it arrived. For those of you who didn't go, clocked out early, or just want to relive some of your favorite moments, you've come to the right place. Friday saw the event start as thousands of J-Culture fans from across the country and beyond arrived at London Olympia for another three days chock full of Japanese goodness. Members of the audience had an opportunity to hop up on stage as Nintendo demonstrated the first of many new titles they had brought with them, Super Mario Maker 2. Speaking of which, over at the Nintendo section they also brought with them some very hyped titles that were undoubtedly the focal points of some people's visits, like Pokemon Sword and Shield and The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. Back to the stage though, plenty of people had the opportunity to show off their Mario Maker skills as they competed to win prizes, but we're sure everybody had fun. But it's not as if all of the action was at the Hyper Live stage, oh no no no. Over at the Hyper Kitchen, there was a whole host of Japan-inspired foodie goodness taking place. Sozai Cooking School put on a sashimi and sushi masterclass, demonstrating how to make various sushi from scratch, as well as giving precious advice on what to look for when buying sushi ingredients and making it at home. As the event went on, we had some guests take the stage who thought that it was about time things got turned all the way up to 51. With their otherworldly outfits, EJ and Kai brought their unique brand of cyberpunk to completely rock the stage in their first ever Ever European performance. For those of you who saw them live, we are sure you'd agree that they were nothing short of breathtaking. We're still not sure if it's humans behind those masks, or if they're even masks at all, but at least we know that they're friendly enough to meet with some of their new fans and even snap some pictures. Before the next act took to the stage, we needed just a little bit of downtime, and what better than a comedic Q&A with the star of the hit film One Cut of the Bed, Harumi Shuhama. She gave great insight into what it was like to be on the set of a budget film that ended up with roaring international success, her life as an actress, as well as how to do her signature attack, the palm. After Harumi Shuhama's light-hearted Q&A session, we were immediately whisked back into another dimension by the ultra-dark idol unit, Necronom Idol. Their energetic yet mysterious style left many absolutely captivated by the performance. We think it's safe to say that they gained a fair few new fans after that showing. Day 2 of Hyper Japan brought with it a whole new wave of excited fans who were ready to deepen their knowledge of traditional Japanese culture, try the latest and greatest video games, or perhaps just grab a new figure for their collection. The renowned artist whose work has spanned multiple legendary titles including the Final Fantasy series and the Pokemon trading card game, Mitsuhiro Arita detailed his life as an artist on the Hyper Live stage, showing some of his earliest 3D renders and illustrations, revealing some of the troubles he'd encountered as he pursued his dream, and of course, how he ended up working for the Pokemon company and drawing some of the most famous illustrations the card game has ever seen. Then it was time to turn it up a notch. The Shamisen brothers Kuniken took over the Hyper Live stage, reverberating sounds throughout the entire venue that we've sure had never been heard before. Their iconic sound and riveting stage presence was an absolute delight to behold and we're sure they strummed their way straight into people's hearts. Afterwards, it was time for you guys to strut your stuff on the main stage as one of the main highlights of the entire weekend went underway. The Hyper J Style Collection Fashion Show. It was a passionate, vibrant showcase of all things J Fashion that was nothing short of a treat for the eyes. But if you thought it ended there, <laughs> you couldn't be any more wrong. The displays of hard work and dedication continued in another form, one that you could arguably say was the single major highlight of the entire event. The Cos Parade. From idols to rebel leaders to the Hyper Japan logo itself, there was such a mind-blowing variety of cosplays on show, it had to be seen to be believed. Sunday is usually a day of rest, a time to kick back, reflect, and relax on everything that happened during this hectic hyper weekend. Or at least it would be, but there was still plenty happening for you to sink your teeth into. Aside from all the delicious food available over the course of the weekend, the Hyper Kitchen played host to another interesting panel, the Sake Seminar with Natsuki Kikuya. She demonstrated the versatility of sake as a beverage by itself, as well as when paired with certain foods, even going as far as to whip up a few cocktails for the audience to try out. If you weren't able to get into the sake experience, this was definitely the next best thing. Back on over at the Hyper Life stage, the J-pop singer from Karatu and Saga, Choko, sang her wonderful collection of covers and original songs, and it was clear that she had a lot of fun doing so. 
However, it wasn't just at the main stage that we had some amazing singing going on. Over on the other side of the venue, the Hyper Street Live played host to many an amateur performance, including this super cute, energetic duo who covered a bunch of songs from the fan favourite Cute Girls Doing Cute Things anime, k -On. And singing wasn't the only action happening on Sunday. Over at the J Culture Showcase, the Aikido in London Dojo were busy throwing down and showing off just how versatile the martial art Aikido can be in a wide variety of situations, from grappling to disarming an attacker. Then we had the pleasure of seeing even more awesome cosplay up on the main stage as the cos test went underway. This time around, the contestants had the opportunity to bring their characters to life, whether it was via singing, or striking poses, or a combination of the two. If you enjoyed the cos parade on Saturday, then the cos test was definitely one of your highlights. By no means was this a definitive collection of everything that happened at this year's Hyper Japan Festival, but hopefully it gave you an idea of the wide array of activities that we've got going on every year, twice a year. This year's event was absolutely stunning, and we were glad to see you all having so much fun and enjoying yourselves over the course of the weekend. Now that's going to do it here for the recap, but be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed what you saw, subscribe for more Hyper Japan content, and of course, drop a comment down below. Let us know what your personal highlight of this year's event was. We hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you all in November. Hello?